Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a reverse scrolling website, and that's to say a website that starts at the bottom and then asks the viewer to scroll up. Because why not? I mean, there are a number of design situations where you may want users to scroll up instead of down. The content itself, uh, whatever it may be, might make more sense if it scrolls up instead of down. So just for this example, uh, I've created a ground with a sky. And as you go up into the sky, you end up in the clouds. And then you go up into outer space where the page ends. So it ends at the top and starts at the bottom. So how do we get this to happen? Because if I preview this in the browser, uh, as I'm sure you can predict, it's going to start at the top. It always starts at the top. And uh, it really creates the necessity for a widget, because Muse really won't allow you to do it. So I've created that widget. It's a really simple little widget. It's called Load at Anchor, which allows you to have your web page, whatever page it may be. It could be every page on your site, but uh, whichever page you place it on, or I mean, of course, you could put it on a master page, uh, you can have it load automatically at an anchor that you've placed on the page. So if I just say load at the anchor called ground, which I haven't created yet, and then we scroll down to where the ground is, I can choose to create an anchor. You can just press the A on the keyboard, the letter A on the keyboard, and click and type a name. I'm going to name it ground so that it matches. So now I've got an anchor called ground, and I've got my widget telling the page to load at the anchor called ground, which is at the bottom. I can now preview it in the browser, and when it loads, it loads at the bottom. It loads at that anchor, which is at the bottom. And it can't go past the bottom, so even though I put the anchor way down here, it can't go too far down. It's going to start in the right spot if you want it to start at the bottom. Another thing you guys may have noticed is on museresources.com, when you go to the tutorials page, on the tutorials page, it starts you at the video. It, there's a little bit more above that. It doesn't start you uh, at the very top of the page. It starts you at where this first video is. Because if you're going to the tutorials page, you're probably looking to start watching some tutorials. You probably don't want to start up here where the video is halfway cut off on the screen. So I did the same thing. I created an anchor that's down here, and I told it to load the page at that anchor using exactly the same widget. So once you've done that, you can go nuts. You can start playing with scroll effects. In this case, we've got this scroll effect where the hot air balloon goes up and up and up. We've got the clouds and then we get all the way up here and the hot air balloon is on the moon and I know this is a silly example and I know it's not a good design. I'm just trying to prove a point here. So the point is you can now have a web page load wherever you want. It doesn't have to start at the top. It could start in the middle. Let's say you're doing a website for a mortgage lender or debt consolidation and you're talking about people being underwater with their debt. You can now have it load at the bottom under the water and you can have people scroll up to get up out of the water out of their debt. Just an idea. I know that's like very niche, but it's just an idea. And now you don't have to go from top to bottom anymore. That's the bottom line. So enjoy this widget. It's on museresources.com. It's a free download, just like pretty much everything on museresources.com. Just go to the library widgets page and you'll find it here, load page at anchor. And uh, just click to download it and it's all yours. Enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already.